Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jordan Sharp. Today we're looking at how those odds have been acting up for the game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Houston Texans. How you doing today Jordan? I'm doing good Dax, thanks man. Alright, no problem. Now lines makers opened this one up favoring the Ravens at minus four and a half. The line went up to minus five and minus five and a half of course. Now the Ravens, they've you know put up a good game and, and won against the Jaguars last week 12 to 20 and what a game with the Jaguars last night. How did they pull that one off? Anyways, Texans Colts last week. Texans also put up a fight, but ended up losing by a touchdown, 10 to 17. Uh, Ravens still alive and kicking in the in the playoff run, uh, nine and five straight up, and seven six and one against the spread. Texans still alive also, but with very very low mathematical uh, the probabilities to actually make it. Like you said, seven and seven straight up, and eight five and one against the spread. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I like what the Ravens have been doing so far, but hell, that Texans D is just, you know, monstrous, man. And they've been stopping everyone. I mean, look at what they did with um, Andrew Luck and how they kept that game so close and all. I'm thinking that uh, we should, might, you know, stay away from this game uh, spread and maybe look at a total bet. I don't know, man. What do you think? I actually think that there is a play on this game. I think it is a teaser, though. I think uh, if you take Baltimore down to, you know, pick them or plus one or whatever you get them at, and uh, take the under for this game at around 48. I think you're looking at a very, very good wager. What do you think about that? I like it, man. I definitely like it. You know, I'm, I'm definitely expecting uh, the Texans defense to show up on this one. And the Ravens, I mean, they don't have that awesome defense that they used to have years back, but it's still not that bad. And, you know, Joe Flacco and team, they have been working out a little bit more and uh, they have been, you know, having that uh, synchronicity going a little bit better and all. So I'm thinking that, yeah, it's definitely like a solid play. I'd like it more if I could get the plus one on the Ravens. But, you know, if, if you can, a pick doesn't sound that bad. How uh, is, is Torrey Smith healthy and everything? I knew he was banged up for a little while, but he didn't really have a great game. I don't think uh, last week. How is, if his health is looking okay, I think I really, I, I, I think it puts a lot more stock in this teaser just because obviously there is a chance the Texans could win this game outright. But I think if all. If, if Torrey Smith is back and healthy, which I don't, I don't know too much about, but if he is and everything's okay in that end, I, I think that the, the Ravens have a pretty good are a pretty good play here. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I think you're, you're, you're being worried about the Texans defense is, va is valid, absolutely. But uh, in the end, I do think that Baltimore, that offense, it, it, they've just been able to run the ball with whoever is in the backfield. It doesn't matter. And and it, it, when you when they have that kind of a run game going. That pass game with Joe Flacco seems to open up a lot more, and it really starts to they they can go downfield, you know, it, whenever, almost whenever they want. So I'm, I I uh, I, I'm, I think that uh, I think the Baltimore maybe on a teaser here with the under at 48. You tease this up to 48 or 49. There's no way it's going over because this is gonna this is between two really good defenses. So really, the question remains of which side of the which team do you want in this game? And I, I still I think I have some confidence in Baltimore here. Yeah, I mean, I still, like I said, I mean, I'd like to take them at plus one just, you know, to have that little cushion of security there. But still, I mean, one point isn't going to make much of a difference. Now, the thing is that I do think that they should be a little bit wary about that Texans defense. I mean, look at J.J. Watt. He's always coming up and blocking the passes and all that. And, you know, it, even though Flacco is a good quarterback and all, and they are lighting up pretty much at the right time, I, I'm thinking that, you know, having that pressure right there might incline them to run the ball a little bit more than pass it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I do definitely like it. I think that you, you're, you nailed it right there with saying that this isn't, isn't going to have uh, many points. And uh, taking the Ravens, you know, pick them, be it pick them or be it at plus one, you know, it's definitely like a solid, uh, solid play right there on that teaser, man. Oh, yeah, also, I forgot to mention uh, for the Texans, Andre Johnson does look like he is going to play this week, too. Oh. So that, that adds a little bit of doubt, but I still think, uh, yes, I think it's the Ravens here. Who are the Texans going to play? Uh, Case Keenum for, for quarterback? Oh, that's the last I heard. So, I mean, that's another thing that you really can't, you really can't give them, I think, too much credit here just because of the quarterback situation. I'm, I, I think I heard that. I, I cannot confirm that. But, yeah, that's what I uh, – I have heard Case Keenum rumors. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what that looks like. But really uh, – uh, I, I, they may not even even named starter yet, but I, I don't know. We'll see. It, it, you know, it, that's another thing that just gives me, I think, more uh, – a little more confidence in the uh, Ravens here. Yeah, I think it was between him and Thad Lewis. But, you know, Case, uh, he actually did run the Texans defense last uh, couple years ago, I think it was, that he did do pretty decent, I guess. Um, uh, as for Thad Lewis, uh, I, I really don't remember much about him because we really didn't see much about him. But, you know, I think it, it's still up in the air, but which one of those guys are going to start. In this case, you know, especially with that uh, quarterback issue, I think that, yeah, the Ravens and and uh, that teaser with the Ravens and the uh, and the. Uh, the under 48, it's, it's definitely a good one here, man. All right, Jordan, pleasure talking with you, man, and uh, let's do this again next week. All right, thanks, Dax. No problem. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.
The SBR network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus and do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.